I have a guest in the studio. Goes by the name of Baldo. What a beautiful name. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Very beautiful name. So, um, Baldo, there is an event happening at the legendary Cube Cinema in Stokes Croft tomorrow night, which is a fusion of dance and film going by the name of Mabungo. Yes. Tell us more. This sounds really cool. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I'm a little um, agitated. Yeah, <laughs> I've never yeah. been in the radio before. Uh, so I'm um, managing this event uh, at the Cube Microplex that uh, just turned 25 years. Uh, there was a great uh, 25 hours party over the weekend. And uh, we are mm, keeping up uh, with um, films. S and uh, this uh, event uh, tomorrow night is uh, a screening of two films that are about dance. Uh, one is a short documentary about uh, uh, Zap Mabungu, uh, who is a choreographer and philosopher uh, living in uh, Canada uh, with uh, Franco-Congolese origin. And uh, she's also a philosopher and a co music composer. And uh, she invented this system, uh, this technique, dance technique. And, um, and this is going to be paired with a shorter uh, uh, dance film called Negus. Um, and after that, uh, we have uh, a very interesting panel, uh, um, uh, actually a choreographic forum. Uh, where uh, we're going to have some guests who are, gone, who are going to comment on the films and everybody is welcome to join in the discussion. And that will be chaired by Cleo Lake. Yes, exactly. We had Cleo in the studio last week. Oh, great, yeah. great. Yeah. She does so much work. She and, does. Uh, she, uh, we are very happy that she was uh, up for uh, chairing this. So this event is a follow-up from another event that we organized at the Cube uh, one year ago, uh, again with uh, the same partners, with Society for Dance Research, which is an organization that promotes practice and study of dance uh, in the UK and internationally. And I am uh, event secretary for this organization. And the other partner is Kauma Arts, which is another organization that promotes uh, arts from the African diaspora. And we organized an event at the Cube in February 2022, which was a screening of a, mm, another documentary about Alvin Ailey. And uh, we had a very good discussion after that as well. And you can actually find the recording of that uh, other event on the YouTube channel of the Society for Dance Research. All right. So there's a past... Yes. And then there's also the present and future, which yeah. is tomorrow evening. Yes, yes. This is the present and uh, we hope to get more in the future, indeed. So people can buy tickets on Head First. Yes, Bristol. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking here. Tickets reasonably priced as well. Not too expensive. Six or eight pounds. Yes, yes. But also we don't want anybody to, to be... Uh, feeling um, an obstacle I mean like uh, we want everybody to be able to come so if you have any difficulty to get the ticket they can get in touch with us uh, should I give my email address or? yeah give the email address yep yeah Sinibaldo uh, so S-I-N-I-B-A-L-D-O at protonmail.com we have a few complimentary tickets for people who may need it um, yeah. All right. Fantastic. The Cube Cinema Microplex. It's strange because I've grown up in Bristol and a lot of people have grown up in Bristol, but some people still do not know about the Cube Microplex, which I think is one of Bristol's best hidden gems. I absolutely love that place. Yes, uh, me for me, it was one of the things that made me stay in Bristol. I would say I'm not from here. And uh, I started to volunteer there just uh, a little bit after moving to Bristol. And uh, it really gave me a sense of uh, home and community. And uh, the impossible is becomes possible at the Cube because I don't know if people know it is a community-owned cinema 
So everybody there is a volunteer and uh, it's a non-profit uh, mindset. It's quite uh, also uh, anarchic in a way. Uh, so this makes possible to do the impossible. And it's in Stokes Croft, isn't it? So say you're going up Stokes Croft from the city centre and it's on the left, isn't it? Behind a few buildings near King Square. Yes, exactly. It's a little hidden. Uh, indeed, it's an hidden gem. Yeah, if you haven't <laughs> been there before, you will spend a considerable amount of time trying to trying find to it find the it. first time anyway. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's just, uh, as you said, behind the King Square, uh, on the side of Jamaica Road. Um, there is a parking that is not the queue parking. Uh, people do not park there and thinking it's, uh, I mean, this is an advice. <laughs> Don't park and think that it's uh, um, the cube's parking. Yeah. All right. So um, this is tomorrow night at the cube, as we've just described, just off of Stokes Croft. There's going to be film screenings. There's going to be dance. There's going to be panel discussions. People involved include Zab Mabongo, include Cleo Lake, include Norman Rubber Stevenson as well. So there's a whole mix. Also, yeah, also there is going to be a younger choreographer I think who just moved to Bristol. I still didn't meet him in person uh, called uh, Muti, Motivation Musafiri. And he is uh, one of the producers and co-director of the shorter film, and he will be there as well. Um, so it's good to to also mention that. And of course, Ruba is gonna be there, who is uh, people may know, but is a uh, an important name of uh, African dance uh, in the UK yeah. and internationally. He is. We had we had him in the studio a few months ago as well. So yeah, fantastic legends. <laughs> legends tomorrow night at the Cube Cinema. You can get your tickets on Head First website. Tickets are six to eight pounds. If you feel that's a bit of a stretch, then you can contact the cinema, contact Baldo, and there are some uh, complimentary tickets as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Ah, it's a pleasure. Uh, I, yeah, it's one of the things I, yeah. And is I, it your first time on radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've absolutely smashed it. Oh, thank you. <laughs>